Welcome to Young Hollywood. I'm Torrance Coombs. Uh, I'm Matt Lanter. Hi, I'm Jillian Sinzer. I'm Sarah Paxton. Talk to me about when you guys first read the script. It's kind of a crazy plot. What was your reaction to the script? It's hard because sometimes you get a script and you, you're you on page 25 and it feels like page 80. And when I was reading this script, I, I couldn't put it down. I was having people come over and I was like, yes, make yourself comfortable. And I was like, I had to finish. Have you guys worked together in the past, any of you? Well, her and I, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Matt and I work together on Nine Twenty. I've never met anyone <laughs> before in my life involved in this project. It's been a whole slew of new friends and wonderful people. And it looks like you guys get along. I see there's an apron of shame going on here, this which is my birthday apron of shame because I tend to spill on myself uh -huh. on a regular basis. So. Yeah. They make me wear the apron of shame now. Which is, it's actually, That's amazing. it's actually a really cute apron of shame. I love it. Yeah, so I'm okay with it. It's like the apron of glory, she, she actually. She makes a, a nice yeah. Martha. Yes. So out of all of you guys, who would you say is like the prankster of the group? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, she hasn't pulled any pranks, but she's fun to laugh. At. At. <laughs> and with. Occasionally with. Occasionally with. Mostly at. Why is this movie so top secret? Well, you've got. Who done it? Well, who, who done it? Here's the thing you don't really you don't know till the end, so you've got to watch and find out. I feel like it's you. You're just so innocent. You're so innocent looking. And I'm like, hee. With it's, your apron. <laughs> it's all an illusion with my apron. So we're hanging out with Brian Brightley, the director of this fantastic film, hanging out in a pub. It's a pub, right? Because we're in London. Pub. It is. It is in London. Yeah. L.A. for London tonight. It yeah. feels like London. You've done a great job. Thank you. Thanks. So talk to me about the film. Uh, Liars All, um, you know, inspired by some of my favorite films, uh, The Dreamers, Blood Simple. I really wanted to do a movie that took you on a ride, that gave you a chance to allow fantasy to displace reality um, and left the audiences wondering where we're going to end up. So, uh, this is kind of hush-hush. Anytime I try to figure out a synopsis of the movie or right. try to find out, we're doing research for this movie, there's nothing out there. You guys secret. are being very top secret here. Yeah. Now, you know, we need to be because there's a murder and we sort of begin at the end. So, talk to me about the cast of this film. You've got a lot of young up-and-comers. How did you make that decision on who to go with? You know, we auditioned um, hundreds. Inevitably, someone comes in and you you're shocked and that was the case with this this group now is there a certain genre film genre that you always kind of stick to I really wanted to get after realism I really wanted to get after a movie that feels as though it could happen I love a movie in which you sink into it um, and like Blue Valentine recently where you sink into it and you're convinced that this is the reality and you're just part of the room mm -hmm. 